Hello, my name is Alex Hutchinson, and in this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the uh, main topics I'm going to put videos out over the next six months or the remainder of 2023. So for those that don't know, I'm a freelance IT director for law firms. I uh, tend to try and brand myself these days as the IT director for the law firms that don't want or need a full-time IT director. So they tend to have particular uh, problems or challenges that they want someone to assist with and we I try and help work through those problems with them and um, bring any change back to a, a business as usual state. Sorry, I don't mind doing that, I've just done it. Um, and that means that somebody else within the business or a supplier can then uh, help deal with that on a day-to-day -day basis. So I said I'd give an overview of the topics that I've got listed in this post. So the first one, I'll just give you an overview of what I'm going to talk about really within this, uh, these campaigns. The first one is IT software and supplier selection. So that's where I'm going to provide some insight on the process and methodology that I use to help law firms either review existing suppliers, change suppliers or select new technology and software. Um, they tend to follow the same six step process. I've built a framework and methodology up of this over the last uh, six years or so and I tend to do consultancy um, for medium and large size firms delivering those projects. Uh, when I say delivering I mean directing those projects which we'll talk about in a minute and what I'm also going to be doing uh, the slide at the minute is building that framework and methodology into a training package that's going to be accessible through a video course and also coaching and advisory for smaller firms that don't um, really have the budget or the, uh, the resource to bring in an IT director to run it. So they might need to run it themselves in a light way, but just not fall down the common holes, basically. So then I move on to second, second post level is project direction resource. That's really I'm going to be talking there about how I deliver my service, which has evolved. Um, really the best value for me based on having a professional services day rate applied is making sure that I try and keep myself at that direction level. So coaching um, where, where it's a coaching project, but if it's delivering a, uh, an IT project or an IT change or helping as a freelance IT director, I need to keep myself at that direction level, oversee existing resource, which might be internal people or suppliers, uh, that are going to be delivering that project or supporting and inputting to it because there, there might be different resources needed at different times basically. Um, if you need specialist skills to help develop or design something, you bring those in when they're needed and move them out when they're not. So part of that resource management is also uh, sourcing freelancers or temporary specialist skills when they're needed, if they're needed, to get the best outcome for the clients. So we're going to talk a bit about that. Uh, three is this cyber um, cyber checklist. So for some smaller firms, a lot of firms have a supplier in place, whether they're small or large. Sometimes what they want to do is have a third party that's independent, have a process to follow where we say, right, what we want to do uh, is just at least compare how we're performing to the SRA guidelines, produce a checklist and go through that with a supplier to see what's in place and how. And have like a it's called a rag system so red amber green so what's green and in place what's orange that is recommended to be changed and what's red that's part of the sra guidelines that's not in place and we need to address it and off the back of that we can then look at how uh what's the cost implication and time scales for delivering that change um fourth item coaching and supporting internal it staff so this is something i'm going to try and start doing more of now i'm doing more of the direction piece um, the, there are firms that are a medium and large size that have existing resource in place, whether it's internal IT staff or development staff, and they're not getting what they need from them. They either don't report correctly, there's a communication challenge, there's a translation issue, there's a budget and efficiency challenge. I'm going to help with those projects. Um, and finally, large problem or opportunity. So this is where lots of firms have day-to-day -day challenges with IT and technology. But either end of those, if there's a strategic problem, client service, risk, compliance regulation, um, problem day-to-day -day they need to fix, or an opportunity that they see in the marketplace in terms of leveraging technology that they want to implement, you need a specialist to do that, and I can help. So I'm going to put videos around that. I'll be in touch.